In this video, we're going to look at the ink cursor extension from Elements Hives, which allows you to create uh, this type of effect where you turn your mouse cursor into an ink like entity. So, here we have a uh, basic installation with the uh, latest versions of uh, Breakdance and Elements Hive, and this is the section that we're going to be working with. So in order to access the extension, we go to the section settings under the design tab, elements hive category. Uh, we choose the mouse cursors and we choose cursor type ink cursor. So as you can see by default, it will be enabled with a certain number of default settings. So the first thing to mention is, as you can see, uh, it has a blend mode of difference activated. You can see when the cursor is on top of another element, the color changes and this gives you the ability to see through the text that is behind the cursor. And this, like I said, is enabled using the difference blend mode. And because by default sections in the breakdance have a uh, off-white color, in order to see the cursor as black, the default color is set to white. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to override this blend mode to normal uh, so that it doesn't use that difference blend mode anymore. And then we're going to change the color to black. So now the cursor is still black, however, there is no blending effect with other elements on the page. Alright, so let's go through the settings that we have. The first one is the cursor style, and this, as the name suggests, is the type of cursor that we see on the screen. So the default one is drop. We have track. And we have another one called droplet the next setting that we have is the size and as you might guess this is the size of the ink cursor so I'm gonna keep it uh, to the default one and change this back to a drop uh, the next setting is color. In this case, we are overriding the blend mode to normal, meaning that whatever color we chose is the color that we would have on our ink cursor. The next setting is the blend mode, and these are the standard CSS blend mode, which will uh, do exactly the same thing uh, they would do with other elements so if we do an exclusion element you can see that the color will change it would exclude certain colors uh, let's see uh, if we have difference then it would be like this when using this color so if we change it to black uh, or reddish then it would look differently and so on and so forth. The next setting we have is uh, oscillate on idle. And as you can see, when the mouse is not moving uh, and the cursor is idle, uh, the cursor is doesn't do anything. So the oscillate on idle is a setting that will animate uh, very faintly the cursor. And the animation itself will change depending on the cursor type because the number of elements that make up the cursor is different for each one. The next setting is apply to whole page. By default, the cursor only applies to the current section where it's enabled. If we have another section, Uh, let's see. Uh, if we have another section here, by default, the cursor will not be visible in that section. If, however, we enable the apply to whole page, 
then as you might expect the cursor will apply to all the sections on that page the next option that we have is the z index and this is the standard css z index if you need to give the cursor a different type of uh, or different value than the default one so um one scenario that you might come across is uh, you want to have the ink cursor active on the whole page, but you want the cursor to change colors in different sections. So in this case, you have two ways to go about it. Uh, first one is to have a the apply to whole page enabled and then you would have some blend mode. So let's say uh, difference, for example. And so in this case, if we have different backgrounds in each section, then automatically the cursor will change to another color when it gets to that section. The other scenario is either you have a predefined color scheme that you want to follow for each section and or you have the same background color in every section. In this case, what you would want to do is to have different cursors in different sections with your requirement. So in this case, we have two sections with the same background. In the upper section, we are going to ch change the mode to normal, change the color to black. And in uh, first, I will disable the apply to whole page. And the second section, we will uh, enable another cursor. And we are going to again override the default blend mode and in this case let's give it a red color the settings are default they are the same as the top one and so what will happen here is uh, we have in this section a red cursor on the top one we have a black cursor i forgot to put this back to the default setting for the cursor style but as you can see you can have different cursor styles in different sections and the cursors are uh, not running at the same time but since they use the same calculation and the same coordinate space they are going to feel as if it's the same cursor and the last thing to note is that when you are inside the builder, the default mouse cursor, that is the arrow that you see there, is uh, visible. However, when you are on the front end, it will not be visible. And that's all I had for this video. Hope you like it, and I will see you on the next one.